Hey guys, what's up? This is Salem and today we're gonna answer this question. If light has no mass, how can gravity bend it? And so we're gonna answer this question by making a virtual world and then playing with it. I really like learning things like that and so that's why I love to make games in Unity where I can actually explore how to teach and communicate physics concepts and even understand them myself. So this is a little game that I made and if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a game like that yourself, how you can make virtual worlds and play with them yourself so that you can really appreciate the laws of the universe so you're gonna see how you can make a game like that for now I'm gonna answer for you the question if light has no mass how can gravity bend it first the assumption under this question is that well m gravity only acts between massive objects if you remember Newton's law of gravitation he said that any two massive objects interact with that force proportional to the product of their masses. So if one of the masses is zero, how can gravity bend it, okay? So we're gonna explore this question right now by clicking play. So here we are in space. We have this space orange tree and we have this space orange and we are in space because we don't want any air resistance. We want only the force of gravity to be acting, okay? So this is obviously like just a toy example. Okay, so let's hit start, okay? the ball just falls down and we have a timer here that tells you how long it takes for the ball to reach the ground and we want to explore what happens when we change the mass we start with the one kilogram orange and then I'm gonna reset it and just hit like maybe make it very massive and before we continue you should stop the video and uh, write down your guess for what will happen to the time it takes to reach the ground will it be higher would it be lower will it be the same okay so the best thing to do for you is to think about that and write it down in the comments and if you know the answer already you heard it before you probably do it's a famous experiment but if you know the answer or if you don't write down what your expectation is and then write an explanation of why that answer is true so try to really think about it this is how you learn this is how you generate ideas like this understanding of the world like all this stuff that i'm going to tell you about it's not like private to me or to scientists or whatever you can generate these ideas so stop pause and try to guess the answer yourself okay you can be wrong if that's how you learn so be courageous put down an answer and maybe even leave it publicly in the comment section let's hit start I hope you paused and wrote down your answer before I hit start let's see will the time change or will it not remember before it was one second okay we see that it's one second but this is really weird because we have a very massive object and we know that it's very hard to move a massive object than uh, compared to a light object so there's something weird happening somehow gravity knows this object is very heavy I better put a stronger force on it so so that it moves in exactly the same way so this is a very mysterious thing gravity somehow knows that this object is heavy and I need to apply more force to it here we have like a conflict between two of Newton's laws and you can see them here I won't go into detail with this because it's like math and you might not be comfortable with it but what you need to know this is the law that tells you heavy object hard to move okay this law tells you it's a law of gravitation tells you heavy object put more force on it so these two laws of gravity this mass and this mass actually cancel each other as a result of that every object will behave the same way under gravity okay I hope that made sense if it didn't make sense we're gonna do another experiment let's make this even less than uh, one kilogram 0.5 kilogram okay and then reset and drop it okay so you see that it falls with the same time doesn't matter what the mass is and now we can return to the question that we started with it said that if light has no mass how can gravity bend it well there's a weird thing happening here the weird thing is not that gravity can bend a massless object we already saw that it actually doesn't depend on the mass and so I can make this a very small number I can make it uh, let's say like uh, 0.01 okay and then reset and hit start Okay, and it also takes one second. So even if the mass is very small, it will fall the same way. So the weird thing is not that gravity can bend light. The weird thing is the exact way that light behaves under gravity. What's weird about light is not that gravity can bend it. So even under Newton's law, gravity can 
band light okay and I will show you that here in a specific example it's gonna be a famous experiment that was done in uh, early in this the last century and it's the thing that proved Einstein's equation okay we're I'm gonna do this in a little bit if you stick around but for now I'm gonna show you this weird behavior of light it's not the fact that it bends under gravity it's the fact that it always has the same speed so let's turn on some light so these are photons and I'm obviously showing them slower than they actually are but the weird thing is that they move with the same speed the speed of light even though they're moving under gravity as we saw in Newton's law a light object is easy to accelerate so if light is really just a massless particle under Newton's law then why isn't it moving with infinite speed it hits me and it bounces back it should just be infinite speed if the mass is really massless the point is Newton's laws are wrong when you try to apply them for light or to very very fast objects and no object can move faster than the speed of light and the weird thing about Newton's laws is that or the weird thing about how light behaves is that it always has the same speed okay and that's what you see here when you do this okay so now I'm gonna show you how light will bend under gravity compared to Newton versus Einstein okay and then we're gonna see which one is actually correct so here's the famous experiment there's a light coming from the star and you know the position of the star okay this is you know the position of the star and you wait until it's being blocked by the Sun and also you wait until there's a solar eclipse so that the rays of the Sun get blocked and so that you can really see this, these rays clearly and so this trajectory of the light shows you what Einstein predicted and this trajectory of the light shows you what Newton predicted and now this is a famous experiment that actually demonstrated that Le Einstein's law is correct they waited for a solar eclipse and then uh, for a known star they saw that when the Sun is uh, blocking that star the light appears to be coming from this direction so you know the star is in a certain direction in the, star in the sky but when the Sun is blocking it it appears to be coming from that direction versus Newton would have predicted that it's coming from there but when they did the experiment they saw that it's really coming from that direction and that's how they confirmed that Einstein's three theory was correct and so this is really amazing like like imagine the world that we live in like there's this German guy with long hair and he was sitting somewhere and he wrote down some equations and he thought about these space concepts and like some math and whatever and somehow he was able to predict like that something about gravity or a Sun bending space around it and because it bends the space light has to move a certain way like I showed you let's show that again so light has to move a certain way he predicted that it would move in this specific way and then after that was uh, predicted another person like 20 years later waited for a solar eclipse in order to see that a known star appears to be coming from a different direction this is like a small fact that you would have never noticed but if we look really carefully at the universe you start to uncover really its secrets you need to take these pieces of ed evidence and like really track it and so this is really a beautiful case a beautiful experiment and a beautiful theory that predicted how light would move under when it passes the Sun but again returning to the question it doesn't mean that Newton didn't predict that light would behave under the Sun or bend but it's just that the prediction was wrong okay because he predicted that the star would appear to be coming from this direction okay so I hope you followed and so as a reward for you for staying to the end of the video and really trying to understand and for answering the question you can email me at the physics connection at gmail.com and I will send you a tutorial of how I made this game okay and I will uh, share with you private courses that I'm making on how to make uh, physics games like that so you can really get to know how to make games a little bit and programming and uh, understand physics at the same time okay so this is just something that I'm I like to do and so I will just send it for you for free uh, just as a reward for trying to understand things so thank you for watching and I will see you next time